Okay, so we have our bass drum uh, pretty much assembled. We've got the back head, we've got the front head, we've got the tension claws, we've got the um, lug nuts and the tension bolts attached. So, and we've got the blanket or pillow inside the bass drum touching both the back head and the front head. So the next thing you need to do is attach the bass drum pedal and get the angle of the spurs just right so that it, it all works for you. So now the first thing we need, do you remember this, that adhesive sticky rubber pad that I mentioned earlier? We're just gonna take the plastic off here and we're just gonna carefully stick this on the back side, so that's the clear head. And we're just gonna stick it on the bottom here between the two tension claws. So that's where your bass drum pedal is going to attach to. So here is the bass drum pedal and this is a really decent starter model. So for taking apart and putting in the car you can just simply unclip these so that's the reason why they do that. Um, at the bottom here is the tension claw where the bass drum hoop will sit between this jaw here and that's adjusted with this T-screw underneath the footboard. Uh, the spring is adjustable also so you can adjust the tension. I tend to keep it at a medium tension and on one of my bass drum pedals I've got a pair of more grips and just lock these down and it's been exactly the same tension for about the last 10 years. So uh, once you've got it how you like it just pretty much leave these as they are. And this has got two springs, some only have one spring, um, so this just makes it a little bit more springy. So um, we can adjust that later on, either higher or lower if we need to. We're going to need this bit, this is the bass drum beater, and they often come with this bit of plastic on, so we're going to take that off. The amount of times I go to a school or someone's house and the bass drum beater still has the plastic on, I don't know why, but anyway, we're gonna take that off. So, unless you like the sound of plastic beater, I don't know, some people do. We're gonna use this as a nice felt beater. I'm gonna put this plastic over here, and uh, that'll do it. Right, and we're gonna stick this into the slot at the top here. Now there's a little um, screw here which you'll need your drum key for again and uh, we're going to put it pretty high, I usually leave about a centimetre or a half an inch at the bottom and that should line up pretty much to the centre of our bass drum and then as I said earlier the claw will attach onto the bass drum hoop so the bottom bits underneath the top bit obviously clamping down onto our rubber pad and we're just going to adjust the screw underneath and that's going to hold it on really tight there we go that seems to be working great stuff so now we've got the bass drum pedal on we can look at adjusting the front of the drum so now at the moment I have it so that there's about four or five centimeters here, maybe a couple of inches. Uh, and that has given us um, a good, maybe an inch, again, two or three centimeters underneath the drum um, of lift. And then what that does is it angles the back of the drum so that the beater nicely hits without having to overextend. So you just need to line it up so that as it hits the top of the bass drum pedal, see that there, so it actually hits nice and vertically, and that's going to make it a lot easier to play. So I think maybe I can come down just a little bit here. I'm going to do the same on the other side just to line it all up. So that looks great. We're going to turn this round. So we have our bass drum. 
Let's give it a go. Awesome.